everyone for YouTube. If you've been watching my videos recently, I acquired this uh, 1976 Yamaha STX 440. I did a few videos uh, previously. I uh, did one where it was like completely taken apart, kind of. Engine was out of it and stuff. And I got this other one uh, I put up the other day. So it finally got, uh, I finally got to run. I just got the seat back from a reupholstery guy. Got red piping around the back. The only thing I wasn't really too happy about was this gap here. But I think that's kind of my fault. But, uh, I don't know, there's a gap all the way around. But for some reason, I don't really know why there's, I don't, I don't know. Can't seem to figure it out. If I really wanted, I could just lift it up from back here, like that, slide it forward. The only thing is, there's just gonna be a gap back there. But I'd rather have a gap back there than one up there. So, might have to drill new holes in the back for the studs. Not really sure why it was shorter. But, I got the skis off at the moment. But I got these uh, chrome shocks here. Might be a little bit dirty. There's a little tiny dent in this one, but other than that dent, um, they're in fairly good shape. I got them off a of Skidoo Safari I saw in the scrapyard. This is the other one here. And these are the old ones. I really don't... I don't know. They're still good, actually. The seals and everything are still good in them. But I don't really want to use them. I'd rather use the chrome ones. I also got a, these GPX skis here. I'm trying to get this one fixed. Um... How well you can see it, but there's that cheesy little pin. You can see they're both sides of mushroom note now. So I sat there with a hammer and tried pounding that pin out, but it won't go. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. But these skis are like extremely light. They're uh, GPX skis. This probably only weighs like I get it with my pinky. It's like not even that heavy at all. It probably only weighs like maybe three or four pounds. They're not really thick or nothing, but they're really light, so they're meant for racing. Um, that's a stator that came out of the sled. I think I showed you guys that in the other video. It's, uh, there's something wrong. It's no good no more, so. Yeah, that's, uh, it's too bad, but whatever. That's what parts motors are for. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to say you guys, just let you, let you guys know, I got the seat finally done I gotta do some polishing on it on the tunnel or whatever I did some polishing in here for the uh, clutch cover I got the tack and speedometer all hooked up all the lights and everything work as far as I know um I'd open up the hood right now but it's kind of uh I don't know maybe I should maybe I shouldn't because there's no hinges so oh, screw it whatever I'll just put it over the yard mm. Things I do for you guys on YouTube, eh? <laughs> Alright, uh, let me just set the camera down for a second. Okay. So, I got the engine all bolted back in. Exhaust hooked up, kind of. I can only find one spring, so that's all I use. Um, I actually clean up all inside the belly pan. I spent like three or four hours just power washing it and using carb cleaner, getting rid of all the dirt I can. Like it's actually underneath the motor, it's like perfectly clean. I don't know how you can see underneath, but I spent a few hours cleaning it. So far, I have everything here hooked up as far as I know it was before. Uh, was it this here doesn't work? Not really sure why. Uh, I can't find the key, so that's not hooked up. The only thing I can shut it on and off is this tether switch here. And it didn't even work before. What I had to do was put a screw in the bottom of it. See it in the light here. Yeah, I had to put a screw in there, so... It pressed in this little button in here a little further. Because it wasn't pressing in far enough. And I mounted the fuel pump. Now these look like old crappy gas lines because of the way the coloring is. But it's actually red. It's not that crappy. These are the... You can tell the difference in color there. 
these are the uh, vent tubes and this is what happens to old gas line gets all hard and brittle and stuff and it cracks even but this is still this is still really rubbery so it's still good that's actually off the rub so um didn't really do too much with the motor I think I might have to do some base gaskets on it because when I start it up sometimes you can see a bit of wetness going on here it's not the crank seals because it's just from this one cylinder here on the bottom it's probably just a base gasket but those are cheap so they're not hard to put in either um gas tank had a broken gas cap because it's supposed to have one of those ones that uh that have a clip and it pops up like my TNA2 and my exciter over there but it doesn't so the guy guess it broke off so this guy put a like one of these in there bit of a car but surprisingly it like threads in perfectly and it fits and it actually doesn't look that bad so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is maybe I'll give it a start here really quick and it's on choke it's a little bit hard to pull but shut it off before it gets uh, too smoky in here yeah, it's starting to get smoky <laughs> Um, I mounted the front bumper. Uh, what else? Can't really think of right now. The gas tank had a leak in it, so I had to fix it. There had a little thing it's supposed to go through here for the line, but it was. I don't really want to hook that up because I just don't really feel like it. So I just put a bolt through it. Put some uh, gas tank fix around it too, so that worked. I still have to take the suspension out and fix it up. It needs new sliders, new absorber, possibly uh, new front springs. Uh, I'm going to clean it up and repaint everything in it too. i still got lots of power washing and cleaning to do along here and stuff. But as for like repainting, I really don't think it needs much. Like other than the skis, uh, these shrouds, and the muffler, I really don't think it's going to need much repainting. So that's easy. I like that. It's all aluminum. <laughs> Much easier than the T92. That thing had a had a lot of painting to make it look nice. So, anyways, I don't really want to bore you guys here. So maybe I'll do another video this weekend. Uh, I'm gonna bring this to my dad's house and do some more work on it. And I'm gonna bring it to Sledorama. Hopefully, if it's ready in time. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I'll get some more videos going soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully more some some more snowmobiling stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.